Every morning, I started my day by getting out of bed, brushing my teeth, taking a shower, a five mile run, and then some meditation to have a clear mind for the day. Then I come back home, take a bath, make some breakfast, drink my morning coffee, brush my teeth again, and write down my to-do list for the day. Okay, I'm obviously just kidding. This is what I actually do. I sleep in as long as I can without being embarrassingly late to work. I usually prioritize sleep over breakfast, but today I decided to make some breakfast because, you know, it's the most important meal of the day. I'm not really a morning person and with that comes the fact that I don't really enjoy breakfast meals that much, like pancakes, waffles, and all that, but egg with ham is actually pretty good and really easy to make, so it's definitely my go-to breakfast. I have a cup of orange juice and then sit down and enjoy my breakfast. I get ready to leave the house by putting on a coat and a scarf because it's pretty cold outside, well at least for me. And I usually drive myself every morning, but today Adrian wanted to give me a ride to work. I finished touching up some of my makeup on the way. My workplace is only 15 minutes away, so it's not too bad. So this is the office for my first job. And the first thing to do is open up the blinds for some natural light to come in. So, not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I actually work two part-time jobs at the moment. One of them is a, as a product development engineer slash intern at um, a medical device startup, and that's where I currently am. So, this is my business card for here. It still says student intern because, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I've been working here for literally almost two years, which is crazy. I've seen the company grow a lot and being in a startup has been an amazing experience because I don't only get to learn engineering, but also about the industry, about what it's like to have your own company. So I think that's really cool. And I've gotten to experience some things that maybe I wouldn't have if I was at a bigger company. But obviously, uh, working at a, startup, at a startup has its pros and cons. So I would love to make a video about that if you guys are interested. But my second part-time job is as a regulatory affairs intern at the moment. That one is absolutely remote. So I work from home 100% of the time. And it's been like that even before COVID happened. But what I'm going to do today at the startup is mostly documentation. Most of the work is actually paperwork. And I found that mostly to be true. Sometimes we do do a lot of hands-on things and that can last for weeks and then for more weeks. But eventually you get back to documentation and you're just working on the computer. So I mean, I like that, uh, but maybe some people won't. So just an FYI, what I do is a lot of documentation. So I'm gonna try to do a little tour of my desk. So there's a lot of binders as you can see. I don't usually have them here but for now I'm going through some of that information so that's why they're here. We have some of the devices here. I think it's okay to show them because you can actually see it online. Anyway we have a voltmeter that we use a lot whenever we're testing or building. And then stapler, blue tape, some parts testing fixture this is a power supply and computer and just a few random things my business card a folder notebook here's my snack for the day i usually have almonds or just water i'm not gonna lie i usually don't prepare anything but i figure i would for this and this water bottle i got from tiktok recently because i'm actually a tiktok partner so that was really cool experience because we are a startup, we do rent space from another company. Um, so we only have this one office and that's pretty much it. But it's always freezing, so I either have to keep a scarf on or my coat because um, it's always freezing in here, or at least I'm always freezing. So something I'm going to be working on right now is on our voice of the customer summary. In the voice of the customer, you really just want to document you know, what people have told you, like the users have told you about your device, just so you can keep track of maybe recommendations that they make, 
complaints, things like that. Um, so we had a, a meeting with our medical advisory board last year, and I just want to make sure that we have those comments documented in this document. Another thing I've been working on is documenting any design changes that we've made to the device. So this includes physical design changes, incorporating components, or even software changes in the device. So all those things have to be controlled and documented. And yeah. So I just wrapped up here and now I'm gonna head out home and start my other job. So I drive back home because I work remotely. Um, this is Sajin and he actually wanted to show you guys the location where he got a shot today. But I don't really want to traumatize you guys that way, so yeah. <laughs> this was my outfit for the day, very neutral colors. First thing to do when I get there is prepare lunch. My go-to is the chicken spinach mozzarella sandwich soaked in green salsa. It's so delicious and super easy to make. Agent had leftover salmon for the day. So I'm gonna show you guys my little work from home station. So here's my notebook, tree, computer, headphones. These are so nice. They're noise canceling. I absolutely love them. I got some um, blue light glasses because I've always wanted to wear glasses and I just figured if I use computers so much I should protect my eyes a little bit. And that's pretty much it. I have a calendar up there and just a little decor. So I recently got this job as a regulatory affairs intern at a company called Medical Device Academy. And the way I heard about this company was super crazy because I was listening to a podcast on like those Apple podcast podcasts. And there was a podcast where this person was basically talking about 510k strategies to avoid disaster with the FDA. And it was just really interesting because at the time I was, or we were starting to think about the 510k application for the startup company where I worked. So I was trying to learn as much as I could about the 510k process. So that's how I found about that company because the speaker that was giving this webinar is the president of Medical Device Academy. Um, so I just found out Medical Device Academy like that and I realized that they had a YouTube channel and a bunch of videos and one video that I personally fell in love with was a video with Rob, who's the president, of, the president and Mary, who is a 510k consultant there. And so it was mostly about Mary talking about you know the job and the company and how why she loves it so much and all the benefits and the moment that i saw the video i absolutely fell in love with the company like i remember telling my mom about it telling everyone about it because i just thought how amazing would it be to work with that company like wow that's so crazy and i really didn't give too much into it or like give it too much thought because i thought i could never work there like the regulatory consultants they require years of experience and knowledge so i didn't even consider it until i was on youtube browsing more about the regulatory affairs industry specifically for medical devices and i stumbled upon this video from 101 mentor which you should also check out because he gives great mentoring tips in one of his videos because he's a regulatory of he's in the regulatory affairs industry um he said that if you're interested in pursuing a career in regulatory affairs but you don't have the experience so one thing that you should do is literally just reach out to regulatory affairs consultants because a lot of times they have so much work in their hands that they would be willing to pass some on to you and help them out and either volunteer or actually get paid for it i just thought i would give it a chance or yeah, I would give it a try and so I started looking up, you know, thinking, well, who could I reach out to? And I thought, well, you know what? Let me just reach out to this Medical Device Academy company. So I connected with Mary through LinkedIn. I basically told her that I was interested in learning about regulatory affairs and that I had learned about the company and that I absolutely loved it. The rest is history. And now I've been working here for, I don't know, like six weeks as a regulatory affairs intern. It has absolutely met 
all my expectations. Like, I have loved working from home. It wasn't something that I desired before. I always thought working from home would get me distracted and that I would get bored. I wouldn't keep myself accountable. But I found that I can be pretty responsible if I set my mind to it. I can do my work. And I've loved learning about regulatory affairs and I've loved the company culture. And it's just been an amazing time here so far. Like, I've worked with a few of the people in the team and everyone is super nice so it's just really exciting so I'm an intern right now I'm working part-time as a regulatory affairs intern and then part-time in the startup you know it's been crazy because it's kind of like my first real-time or real uh, full-time experience even though it's not really full-time because it's part-time and part-time but hopefully soon, uh, one of them will turn full-time. So I'm very excited about that. I just wanted to tell you guys the story because first, wanted to bring light to Medical Device Academy. They do have a YouTube channel and I know my audience is mostly students or uh, young professionals. But if there's anyone out there that knows a startup or someone who needs regulatory or quality consulting, please reach out to me or reach out to Medical Device Academy directly because they're amazing. Like, they have so much experience and they have incredible people in their team. So, yeah, you should definitely reach out to them if you need any kind of consulting or services in those fields. And secondly, because I know a lot of people wonder how could I find a job? How could I find an opportunity? And after just reaching out to someone through LinkedIn, I realized that it's very easy to connect with someone. It's very easy to get to meet someone, to have a Zoom meeting, especially now and days that everything is done done online you don't lose anything and the more connections you have the more likely you're to get a job someday so for people asking how can i get a job i think reaching out to people on linkedin and like actually reaching out to them and talking to them is like so fruitful <laughs> like it's been so beneficial to me i've met so many people through linkedin now and it's been really cool before i would just be on linkedin connect with people and like never talk to them but now i actually use it as a social platform where i meet people where i talk to them and connect with them and yeah i think that's that's something to keep in mind because that is very important and especially in these days that maybe it's harder to find an internship or something like that you know just reach out to people you never know who may be looking for help and maybe they don't know it but if you offer your help maybe they'll take it. and i guess lastly i just wanted to talk a little bit about regulatory affairs because i feel like it's a field that not everyone talks about and if they do not everyone necessarily loves it like i feel like it could be misleading and you could think that it's boring because it's a lot of documents and rules and reading about fda guidance documents and things like that but it's actually very interesting because it's how you can keep people you know safe and it's all about providing quality medical devices and pharmaceuticals and food to everyone and making sure that everything you're providing is safe and effective and according to the regulations so i think that's really cool and it's also a very stable industry or so i've seen in my research i know very little you know i've barely started but trying to learn as much as i can so if any of you would be interested in learning more about regulatory affairs you can either check out the medical device academy youtube channel or you can request for some videos because I'll definitely be making some in the future. So one of the beauties of working from home or specifically at Medical Device Academy is that your hours are super flexible. Like working part-time, I think the most meetings I've had during the day is probably three, but most times I have just one. Some days I don't have any meetings. If you don't have any meetings, you can literally really kind of work whenever you want, which I think is really cool. It's nice knowing that i could take a break if i need one and it's also nice to be able to work from my bed if if i feel like it so that's awesome so we're now going out for our nightly soda slash drive to mcdonald's or the gas station it's a must-have it's it's how you end a good day mm -hmm. 